Hello everyone, this is Alan from Mystery MTG, and today we are talking about eBay acquiring TCG Player for $295 million, and what that means for you. Uh, that deal was announced today, and there are obviously going to have to be uh, more closing conditions, and they have to you know go through the government to see if the deal actually passes. Uh, but it's really important to note that TCG Player literally just acquired Channel Fireball earlier this year. So this is a huge consolidation in the space, and this is not a good thing. So first, let's talk about uh, their statement. Uh, I think this is what TCG Player said, or eBay. Uh, TCG Player founder and CEO Chetty Hampson said the acquisition will give the company a chance to benefit from eBay's industry experience and resources, while TCG Player continues to operate independently. Now, this is just not true, right? When a company buys another company, okay, so when TCG Player buys CFB, they buy it to kind of quell the competition, to say, we want to increase fees, but we can't because there's this other marketplace, and if we get too bad, they might go to this marketplace, and, uh, you know, we need more room uh, against our competition. So then you buy the company so you don't have to worry about it, right? Um, eBay for a long time has been a really big place for people who buy cards, who buy packs, who buy boxes. Um, but also, I think TCG Player in the recent you know three to five years has taken a large majority of that. And people just don't trust eBay as much anymore. And they don't really have great experiences. It's not the most friendly website to try to sell and buy on because you will get screwed. There are a ton of scammers. And some of their policies are just ridiculous. Their fees are ridiculous. And now TCG Player is in the same boat. Now, what you know? Why is this negative? Let's not even look at the increase in fees. Let's not look at the, you know, lack of competition that this is creating. Because as you guys know, competition drives prices lower, which is good for the consumer, right? It's also good for the hobby. It's good for the space. But ultimately, when one of the biggest marketplaces has now been acquired by the other biggest marketplace. And the third largest one, which was CFB, or I would say actually it's Card Kingdom. Uh, CFB might have been fifth, actually, um, has been acquired. Look at a company like Card Kingdom and say, like, how are they going to survive when all of their competitors are consolidating and will will have some of the strongest pushes, some of the strongest marketing? Uh, they might decrease fees just to see that other companies die and then re-increase them, maybe by double. You know, it's ridiculous. This is not good for the space. This is not good for any collector out there. This is not good for any seller out there, any buyer. This is terrible. eBay is not necessarily a good actor in any space. They're doing what they can, but they are obviously a for-profit company that, you know, when they acquire something, they don't really care about it. You know, it's like they're, they're looking to make money. They have investors and shareholders to reward and to make happy. And that's what TCG Player is going to do. The only reason they're acquiring it for $295 million, I think their valuation was $110 million, uh, TCG Player, last year. So the only reason they're acquiring it for that much money is they know they will make more than that off of owning TCG Player in the, the medium term. Not the incredibly long term, the medium term. They take a big hit when they do this. They're losing a lot of capital. It'll take a hit to their share price because it's a bit of an unknown thing and they have less cash on hand. Um, but they know they can increase fees. They can push people into one direction. Come to eBay, come to TCG Player. You no longer, we don't want you going anywhere else, right? We're consolidating this entire space. Uh, yeah, this is very, very classic monopolistic behavior, okay? eBay has already acquired other companies. I'd have to reference uh, what happened earlier this year or last year, but I'm sure they've they've acquired, I think they've acquired, they acquired a grading company. They might have acquired another TCG related company. Now they're acquiring TCG player. Um, and who knows? And technically they're acquiring TCG player and CFB. So, you know, what can you do? I think you just push back against it. Okay, right. So, the company, and it's funny, this article says, the company says the trading card category is growing significantly faster than its total marketplace. And that category saw $2 billion in transactions in the first half of 2021. 
that's equal to all of the trading card transactions that took place in 2020 for comparison. So they see a market that's been doing well. A lot of people are getting into TCGs. A lot of people want to buy product, to, you know, you know, get new cards for their decks or collect or do whatever they want to do. And they're thinking, how can we triple, quadruple our profits off this? We, we, we need a way with other sectors declining. How do we take this group of people and squeeze them for money? Don't get it twisted. That's exactly what this is about. They're looking at you and they're saying this that we want all of these cash cows. These are all cash cows. You know, for us, it's like, okay, well, we're buying the newer sets because they're really cool and blah, blah, blah. But we've already dealt with a 14% increase in distribution price from Watsi, okay, on the distributor end. And now we're going to be dealing with a potential increase in fees from marketplaces like TCG Player and eBay with, you know, I mean, it's ridiculous. This is not good at all. And uh, it's terrible news to wake up to. Uh, not a fan of it. I will stop selling or buying on TCG players starting today. You will never see mystery cards. And I know that's a very small thing, but I hope you do it too. You will never see mystery cards and games on TCG player ever again. We've never been on eBay. I never want to be on eBay. Uh, if you're ever looking for sealed product, shop through Card Kingdom. Shop through us, www.mysterymtg.com. Shop through any marketplace that hasn't been tainted by this consolidation because this is ridiculous and this is not good at all for the hobby, for any hobby, any TCG, any CCG. Uh, it's just not great, guys. It's not great. I mean, I'd love to see. And I promise you, in, a, in six months to a year, you know, there are going to be a couple of people who say, well, it's not too bad. But wait six months to a year. And then look at what's happening and be like, oh, man, that, yeah, these guys are just screw them. But you can't go, you can't go anywhere else. OK, <laughs> like you're going through TCG player or you're going through eBay. Uh, the only other option is Card Kingdom, which is slightly more expensive. And that's why people, you know, they're great for quality. They're amazing. I love the company. But people typically go for bottom line where can get the cheapest single uh, whereas I would make the case that, in, you know, now when you buy singles off TCG player, you're actually contributing to higher prices in the future. So I, I just wouldn't do it. Uh, and if, if card kingdom gets acquired, like it's just disgusting. It's not, what this is about, and it's obvious that people are going to start milking TCGs until all the TCGs die because of it. So I know it's a very pessimistic take, but you can look at other industries and that's exactly what happens with consolidation monopolistic behavior and the fact that eBay is looking to uh, triple, quadruple their size in the TC TCG space. So I will see you guys later. Alan from Mystery MTG. That's just my take. Let me know what you think below. I'm very curious to see what you have to say. And uh, overall, once again, not positive in my view at all. But if you think it's positive, let me know why. I'd be very interested to hear. Alrighty, www.mysterymtg.com. I will see you guys next time.